Good morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning. Um, woof. And it's Saturday. The sun has popped out with the forecast for the next week being exceptionally good compared to what we've had in the last few months. Uh, God dear, it's all the rain and the weather just seems like a bad memory. So I'm just down on the dog walk at the moment. Um, so we were um, full last night, hard standing pitch number four. It was the only one we had left, so that's getting booked today. But home and behold, overnight, every pitch is now gone. Uh, apart from a couple of tent pitches down the bottom behind the hedge, but the whole site is booked for tonight. Um, and going into next week, sort of very, very busy and everything. So I was trying to explain to Dave and Tracy what a difference um, a spell of dry weather can make. Um, so then you can hear the noises. Um, yeah, quite, quite incredible. So we'll see what today brings. And to see whether I get a vlog out of today, we don't know. I might give you a walk around a little bit later on as well, but uh, into the office and um, here we go. Well, one thing for sure, the nurseries is absolutely putting, well, it's not even 10 o'clock, uh, absolutely buzzing it's just like working on a on a holiday camp with everybody having such a wonderful time with this spell of hot weather cafe's busy um and it's <laughs> it's as mad as a bank holiday weekend uh tomorrow the amount of people going off is just like whoa what's going on here it's like uh the august bank holiday monday it's probably busier if i'm honest um and then going sub subsequently going forward with the amount of bookings that are just flying in at the minute because of the um because of the weather ah uh, also i hit a milestone i think it was yesterday i uh, got past seven and a half thousand subscribers um so if you're one of those new people uh i said this the other day as i could see sort of hitting hitting that marker uh thanks ever so much i may do another video i'm not done since last year a campsite warden video about being a campsite warden um and i have got a playlist on this channel all about being a campsite warden with all how you get a job and why you should become a campsite warden and maybe why you shouldn't be a campsite warden i've not done one of those videos for a long time and i've got one video at the minute which is doing very very well and a lot of people asking how to get into okay, indigestion how to get into being the campsite warden so i might do uh a, a, another i've done a few of these in the past a dedicated video on that one uh just to help the people that are asking about things sorry i'm being pinged from sander we're expecting some deliveries coming and uh, it's all a bit crazy but a very 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 beautifully sunlit blue sky nurseries anyway i need to shut up i've got somebody i need to do the pod I've got somebody in tonight for a couple of nights i'm gonna leave the door open and um got a chair in front and that's the pod made up for um for tonight's guests thanks over the motor shed and saturday and oh I think we've, 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 I'm, I'm a daddy. We've got babies. Um, there we are. I don't know if you can see. Try and zoom in on that a little bit for you. Uh, yeah, the, the eggs have hatched. The eggs have hatched. Oh, wow. So it's just getting um, a feed. So somebody was commenting um, about water. Just hang on. Um, so the, we have got all the dikes and everything for the pigeons so when this is closed it's safe in here away from foxes and animals so the pigeon comes under the eaves from where the toilets 
and watch it up area is if you if you know it you'll know it so um they're done but yeah yeah we've got chicks um pitch number 14 have been with us for a week i'm going to quickly mow their pitch because they had wind break out yesterday and that's probably all i'm doing on the touring side today um but i will be on the husqvarna on some of the um seasonal area where it's where all the thistles are just give that a go over and i'll try and give it a little bit of a walk about around the site as well today um might do that in a minute just go for a quick litter pick blue sky glorious weather it's uh yeah beautiful so that's so pitch number 15 sorry um i need to do and coming on tonight, we've got somebody on here. Number twos. Um, pitch number four on tonight. Camping pitch on tonight. Pitch, pitch, pitch. Basically, basically I've got the full on site. A little camper packing up at the moment as well. You can see where the awning was out there, that's why that needs a quick cut and a small Set litter pick up well. for the day. In the field of view, a cafe. You've had a good morning, Tracy. It's been all right. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah, is, is, like, is it like working on a holiday camp? Is, yeah, yeah, it's nice. Good guess here, Dave. Everybody's happy. Yeah, lots of dogs. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think. So, um, yeah, it's been good to see the cafe doing doing okay so i'm going to swallow this down see so that hole i'm going to end up i've got a white t-shirt on i'm going to end up with egg all down my arms <laughs> all right ready 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 for this afternoon's arrivals quite a lot of people are actually out at the minute so i'm just going to make my way to um my van and get um a case of water Very quiet. <laughs> it sort of tends to be always quiet. Anyway, just cutting through. There's a, there's a thrush. You know the wings of the um, grass cutter. Not too sure why that's out. Oh, baby rabbit! Do you see that? A lot of baby rabbits at the moment. And Dave and Tracy were just saying that they're um they keep watching the feral cat. That's out hunting. He looks like a little black panther. Another case of water. And I've got ice creams in the fridge as well. Oh in the freezer. Always helpful. And if you staying with us. And you want an ice cream? Do you remember Dave and Tracy? I've normally got plenty for sale in their freezer here. Crunchy blast lollies, I think they're saying is um, the popular ones. Right, let's put this down. Have a sit for five. Right, so uh, Saturday night. Not so much a hush walk, although I did do a hush walk last night. But oh, baby rabbits over here. Um, just gonna have a quick walk around as I say we've got a extremely full site tonight well yeah, very full uh, just gonna check the toilet and the facilities give you a quick walk around discreetly so we just had a, a little bit of a rain shower which is uh, stopped and the Sun's back out so we're gonna be heading into a beautiful sunset in an hour
Alright, so I let's like read from oh, why is that door open? Strange, right. Toilet rolls to replenish. Being around the toilets. Um, so one of the one of the toilets needs some loo rolls topping up and somebody's in. So yeah, uh We actually had um, some people staying with us on pitches number 16 and 15 who actually wrote into head office because during the stay we were quiet with conspiracy theories to why we were quiet and trying to explain to people that the weather effect is beyond anything we can control and every campsite around here during that wet spell were quieter than normal. So... Um, the conspiracy theories about why we were quite a Neil Taylor, the YouTuber. Uh, um, I'm sorry. You're just blown out the water, mates, because, you know, that's a... That's a full campsite. And the reason why it's so busy, and it has been so busy, is because we've got dry, warm, proper weather. Why do people have to sort of have conspiracy theories and think they know what's going on on campsites when really they haven't got a clue? Well, the people in the pod, um, they're in for three nights. Mass checkout day. This has actually been as busy as any bank holiday. Um, super busy and a mass exodus today. And then we're refilling up, and I think we're pretty well full next weekend. So, what a difference a spell of dry weather makes. And all the conspiracy theorists that were going on about blah 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 blah. And that's why you're quiet, that's why you're quiet, that's why you're quiet. I'm afraid, like I said earlier on uh, yesterday, that that conspiracy theory you just had has just been blown right out of the water. We're full. Good morning, Pigeon. How are your babies? I think I've seen two of them up there. How are you keeping? Good morning. Hello. I'm going to open the door. You can fly in a bit easier that way. Right, there's a departure, just coming over there now, I think. Can I see a caravan moving? Yeah, as full as any bank holiday we've ever had. Absolutely heaving. Yep, here we come. Dave, that's been your busiest day so far. Yeah. And what amazing people have we had on with us? All lovely people. Absolutely amazing people. So just saying today, we had these she... Can't say hip, hip muck munchers uh, for the septic tank. Um... So if you've not come across those and you're on a campsite, or if you're on a campsite, or even if you're at home and you've got a septic tank, did you know there are such a thing? Um, 
So we've just got some people who've just booked on to stay an extra night. And we've got two that have never been here before who just stayed with us. And they've just booked to come back next week. Um, and then next weekend, I think currently, I think from memory, we've got two house landing pitches left. I think the grass is all fully booked. So my muck munchers have been deployed. Um, right. So compared to what you saw before, we've now got a quiet campsite <laughs> till till this afternoon's arrivals, um, and then <laughs> it all starts filling up again properly from Wednesday next week. But we've got um, quite a few on this afternoon. So um, yeah, what what a weekend that's been! Absolutely buzzing. Um, and if you've stayed with us, well, what more can I say? That's just been a proper, proper good. I am going to um, start some work up over on seasonals, get the outsides done, and then get that finished off to Moz. To Moz. To Moz. Is that a real word? But I think, I think I'm going to go and do the dog bin, Dave. I'm going to go the glamorous jobs. All right, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy I'm going to enjoy it. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. Let's go and get the air dog been emptied. Oh, you ready? You ready? You ready? This is a couple of days. Oh, look at, look, look at that there. <laughs> oh, dog poo bags. Um, <sighs> golden fields of crops and everything. Look at, look at, look how that now. Do you remember when this was all green? Just literally a couple of um, a couple of weeks ago. Look how it's all. Um, yeah, I don't know whether can we get over or not and have a look. So you know when these are ready for harvesting, we're still early, very early yet. Is when the the heads sort of start to bend and bend and bend and bend and then they go a bit. Let's have a look. So this is uh, again a lot of farmers are saying a lot of the. Crops are damaged, but um, I'm not too sure. But what I do know is, when those heads sort of bend over and drop as they uh, as they go, that's when the the harvest is ready. Uh, such a distant, oh, it's not a distant memory, but just the rain we've had over winter. You never know. If we end up with um, two weeks, another two weeks of this, got by mid-August, are we going to have a drought? <laughs> we did three years ago, didn't we? Right, let's go and uh, dispose of the. Moles. <laughs> oh, a mole. Now, we have some other moles and they seem to have disappeared. Lush. Cut round here. And, um, tomorrow is Monday. We have to do the big um, Victorian area in the Highland. Um, so I just cut number three where we had somebody on last week and number pitch number 11 we've just had somebody stay for two weeks so that's all cut down and I think as far as mowing goes for this today I think that will probably be, be it an amazingly beautiful beautiful day Obviously, we're serve on the seasonal area at the moment. In for five, another bottle of water. I'm not having anything to eat because um, <gasps> indigestion. I had a I had an egg balm cake this morning. Thank you, Tracy, and a cup of coffee. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I had these bought me, and that's the final two all gone. I'm munch on them. I checked nothing's come in in the last hour or so while I've been out. And 
get things ready also for tomorrow. Right, so I was waiting for this afternoon's arrivals now. Um, and after work today, as I say it's Sunday, I'm going to pop home. Uh, I've got some bits and bobs to pick up. I've got some stuff I need to take back home. Uh, go and have a bath and go and have a have a proper wet shave. I've been using an electric razor and ugh, it's horrible. So, but for now, I think we'll conclude and wrap this video off here. And as I say, if you're watching this and you've, you've been with us this weekend, um, hasn't that been an absolute magical, wonderful weekend? And that's why when things go smooth and there's no dramas, being a campsite warden can be very rewarding very busy, but very, very nice as well. Look after yourselves.